One of the weird things about growing up is that you have these weird obsessions that end up not really amounting to anything significant when you're older. Somehow knowing all of the seasons of Dragon Ball Z and watching various animes and playing video games all the time, these things that normal kids are just passionate about don't necessarily get you paid when you were younger. Until now. You see, now we're living in a world of social media and these things that were just these abstract interests that a lot of people shared were seen to be useless by, you know, our parents growing up. But now in our generation, like I covered in my last one of my last videos, there was literally a 16 year old kid who won three million dollars in a video game Fortnite tournament. There's multiple YouTube channels and multiple podcasts being formed every day around people's favorite interests, whether that's Naruto or Dragon Ball Z. It seems like being a nerd kind of pays off nowadays, especially when every blockbuster that really pops has some sort of superhero in it now. So it is only fair that our turn as sports fans, our turn as NBA fans, we really start capitalizing and using our extensive knowledge to make money on the things that we've been so passionate about for so long. So in this video, I really want to talk about the best ways to earn anything from an extra 500 to a thousand dollars just being a really passionate NBA sports fan. Hi, my name is Fly Stewart. You're listening to the Uneducated Investor Podcast, where we connect investing to pop culture. Please make sure to drop a like to that little YouTube algorithm mm, to the ground. And of course, let's get better investing together. Subscribe, subscribe. So one of the first ways you can really start to make an extra $500 a week as an NBA sports fan is sports betting. Originally sports betting seen as gambling is sort of like a zero sum, like bad thing to do. But when you start to turn treat sports betting like investing and really learn about risk management, source betting, betting becomes a very lucrative and easy way to really earn a percentage on your money. You know, coming from a finance background, I actually had a finance professor to that to this day actually makes a good portion of money just from sports betting in the NFL. And I know I said NBA fans, but one of the great things about the NFL is their games are once a week. So it gives you that breather and relax time to really understand if the odds that these sports books are putting out are a good bet to make your money. You see, with every game, there's underdogs and there is favorites. Now, of course, betting on the underdog isn't fair. So to compensate you, the sports bet bookie or the sports book, they will say, well, you know, if the underdog loses by only four points, then we'll still give you money. Or if the underdog loses in within 10 points, we will still give you money. This way that if you see odds that you're like, wait, I just have to be within 10 points. Well, I know this team matches up well against this team. That is a really high percentage bet. You can then bet a higher percentage of your portfolio to make money. Or you can just do what I do and not even really think about that and literally just follow the bets of the top sports professionals out there. So right now I'm following, um, actually my professor, believe it or not, I'm following the bets he makes in the NFL every week and I'm expecting either to lose some money or make around 20 to 30%. Now, of course, if you're an investor, someone who's expecting an 8% return in the marketplace, you're like, like your mind's like going, oh, wait, what? You're expecting a 20 to 30% return. That's, that's kind of crazy, right? But in the sports world, this is a world or a marketplace where there's not a lot of sophisticated investors. A lot of people go into it with a gambling mindset, but if you take go into it with an investing mindset and really know about risk management and betting the right amount of risk per actual game or sports odds, then you will make a lot of money because it's not necessarily efficiently priced marketplace at least not yet. And eventually you'll see that the big money, like big hedge funds are going to start really pouring money into this area. So right now is a good time to really get in and understand it. And then when the big money comes, you can start to get a lot, a lot of money. The second way as a sports fan to make an extra $500,000 a week is of course, NBA cards. 
met you. Met you. Now, I did an old video really explaining why I invested around $1,000 into NBA cards. And recently, I have actually gotten more NBA cards because it is such a lucrative market. You know, I think I bought like a $500 box of like just raw, just raw, like non graded NBA cards. And I got a Giannis Atempacumpo because. Oh. Is that the Greek freak? I feel like he's severely underpriced and he's the next person who really has potential to be LeBron James. But in short, to really summarize my old video, basically the thing with NBA cards, if you want to understand why they appreciate so much, you know, sometimes they appreciate like 10, 20% a year outperforming the stock market even. The reason why they're really doing so well is you just have to really understand art you know rich people they love art and you can see right now that there's literally paintings being sold for millions of dollars that's something someone drew that has no real intrinsic value or no real intrinsic price that makes it worth that much but just because people literally perceive the value to be that much that art price will literally go ridiculously high now, the great thing about NBA cards is that the actual value of the cards can be quantified way better than art can be. And that's because NBA cards are graded. They're put in a nice plastic slab, as you can see here, and you can't necessarily take it out the case after it's put in that slab. You can see recent sales on eBay, so you're really sure that the card is worth that value and that value is gonna hold in the future. Just imagine, if you are the owner of one of the most rarest Michael Jordan cards, where most of them have been like out of existence for a long time, you can look from anywhere from $35,000 today or in 10, 20 years ago, that card can be worth a hundred to $500,000. Own an NBA card is holding a piece of history and people are willing to spend lots of money for these cards, just like they're willing to spend lots of money for art. Now, the third reason you, you really got to listen close to this one. You ready? The third reason, the third way an NBA fan can really make that extra cash is by smashing that like button. Of course, baby, hit that like button. Get this video out there. Beat that YouTube algorithm. Do it. D -d -d I'm watching you do it. The third way how an NBA fan can really make extra money, of course, is playing fantasy. Fantasy is a great way, you know, join a fantasy league, put some money down. And of course, if you win the fantasy, you got to pay out. However, the risk reward ratio isn't high enough to really justify all that time. The real value of doing fantasy, of course, is it helps you to learn about the players, learn about the markets. And this, again, gives you a great way to use that information you're learning from fantasy sports to buy NBA cards. Or, of course, if you want to actually go through sports betting, it will help you understand matchups way better and maybe make some return when it comes to sports betting on NBA games. The fourth way you can make a little bit of extra cash, of course, is by, just by flipping merchandise. When you flip NBA merchandise, specifically think about jerseys, posters, tickets, or even when you're flipping NBA basketball sneakers, really understanding the NBA market is a great phenomenal way to make that extra cash. You know, someone who's a football fan or soccer fan won't understand the value of Jordans the same way probably an NBA player will. The fifth way to make money as an NBA fan is actually kind of cool. You see, join one of your workplaces intramural teams. Whether you're working at a corporate office or you're a police worker or you're in the government, join that sports team being a, basically an NBA fan, you know, join that basketball league or whatever, you'll be introduced to a lot of people who are interested in sports. And this is a great way to network with people who have similarities as you. You know, normally in the office place, you might not be exposed to as much people. So when you're really trying to navigate through your workplace or move up, those people will have a better impression of who you are and where you come from. So that is a great way to network with like, minded people and it might help you land a promotion remember when it comes to working it's not necessarily what you know but it's who you know and the last way to make you know an extra five hundred dollars as an nba fan really is doing what i'm doing now start a youtube channel or start a podcast 
You see, if you have a very interesting take on a bunch of different basketball, you know, subjects, or maybe you were just really right about Steph Curry being the next best or Steph or Kevin Durant being the next best, and you really want to cement that and you're really into the analytics and stats, and you want to explain that to an audience, starting a YouTube channel or starting a podcast discussing the best top trends in basketball, this is a great way to really build an audience and then start monetizing off of ad reads or the AdSense from Google. The basketball legacy, the basketball history is, is so rich. There is so much richness in basketball and the nostalgia from it if you just tell those old stories about Will Chamberlain or Elgin Baylor that people might have not necessarily known then you can start engaging an audience of basketball fans like yourself and maybe hey you do some sponsorships you sell great you know apps like SeatGeek or something like that you sell great apps like StockX you know these places where you know they also are looking for a basketball fans to sell their products to you can start having a business model where it just pays you to literally be an nba fan and talk about basketball so you know here at the uneducated investor podcast we are always trying to just give each other better ways or think differently about how we can generate some extra income for ourselves and being an NBA fan or sports fan of any sports league is a really great way to do that. Now as always, the best and most brightest investors are the uneducated ones. Why is that? That's because the uneducated investor, they never ever ever stop learning. Remember to like and comment in this video. Let me know who you think is going to win the NBA playoffs in the year 2020 and we flight crew have to take off. Peace.